Hi, I'm Beau Forbes. I'm a clinical psychologist, yoga teacher, and yoga therapist. And I'm here to talk to you today about another one of our infrastructure interventions. Today's intervention is transitions. Infrastructure interventions start with the idea that it's not what you practice that matters, it's the way that you practice. So infrastructure interventions become tools that you can bring to your existing yoga practice to augment it therapeutically, to enhance its therapeutic benefits. So in talking about transitions, we start to look at what happens in between poses. In our yoga practice, we tend to prefer being in a discrete pose, like upward dog or downward dog. But that in-between place is often a place that we move through very rapidly and very quickly, sometimes without the mindfulness that we spend on the poses themselves. And sometimes we lose our groundedness, our connection to our center. This is actually symbolic of what happens off the mat as well. And in transitions in our lives off the mat, such as from one relationship to the next, or a, one job to the next, or when we're moving, or actually changing our calling, or going through a difficult time, we tend to have a lot of discomfort and we'd rather be either where we were before or where we're actually trying to go. But that interim space has a lot of uncertainty, a lot of sense of ungroundedness, what we call in anthropology, it's a liminal space, it's in between worlds. And that space can be frightening, but it's also very pregnant with potential for transformation and change. When we slow down our practice, we get to pay attention to that space. We actually lengthen the time it takes us to get from upward dog to downward dog, or from a lunge um, back to plank pose, or from downward dog up to our hands. When we do that, we're able to feel how parts of the body may be tight that we weren't aware of before, or other parts of the body may be unsupported. And we can use that discomfort or that discovery to point us toward places we need to grow. We can strengthen the parts that are weak and open the parts that need extra space and opening. In transitions on the mat, we also can start to connect more deeply with our core so that all our movement becomes an extension, a natural expression of that core body strength and awareness. When we add that kind of grounding to our practice, we symbolically signal the rest of our mind-body network that we can navigate life's transitions, those difficult spaces with grace and with awareness and with integrity. And that's how what we do on the mat actually applies to challenging situations off the mat. Thank you for joining me today to talk about the magical power of transitions. Have a nice, big, happy day.